and welcome to the show. We are here today on Forza Horizon 5 for some more multiplayer races. For this, we are using A-Class American cars. And they, oh, A-Class American cars with no swaps allowed, whether that's engine swaps or driveline swaps, they are all going to be run on tarmac circuits. I have gone with the Mustang. A little bit more of an unusual one. Uh, I've gone... I'm trying a build route that I've seen other cars be fast at, and I've not had much luck, but I'm going for rally tyres, which I know is a little bit odd, but it gives me decent grip, good power, over 500 horsepower in a car that weighs about 2,700 pounds. So, I'm hoping we're going to be quite good, etc. I'm worried about the Viper. and <laughs> definitely worried about that. Um, I mean, there's there's a lot of Mustangs. Uh, there's, there's a decent selection of Mustangs. A good variety, at least, in them. I, I have no idea if this is going to be any good, really. Um, I know Glisk has got a full slick tyred Durango. I've gone that route before with cars. I've not had much luck doing it myself, although there have been times when that does work. Uh, by the looks of it, the Durango up at the front is not a full slick tyred Durango. Uh, we've got more straight line speed than the Viper, but that's perhaps not uh, too surprising. I've also not got Forza Aero on my car. That may be a foolish thing. I don't know. Uh, we out accelerate this stuff. Of course, the Durango will be all wheel drive, so it'll get off the corners very well. I love the, the livery on the Viper. That's the proper classic uh, PlayStation Le Mans, Le Mans racer, GT racer, uh, whatever. There's so much debris through there. Just trying to find a bit of space to make the most of my car. Now, this track should be quite good for my Mustang, to be honest with you. Long, long start, finish straight, if I can figure out a way up past the Viper, unfortunately. Um not quite so gotta get make the most of our straight line speed somewhere and that will be down here i would expect uh, the gt350 will be probably a bit faster than me down here here comes the uh, rsx unfortunately we're just gonna get boxed in uh, around here oh, trying to look for ways past durango's just got a bit too much grip for us uh, oh and i've locked up big time there that will not help my case um that was just not stopping. <laughs> just got on the brakes a little bit too much, and once it was locked, by the time I've kind of unlocked it and then tried to slow it down, it's yeah going to lose a lot of time. Uh, so yeah, that's not so not so great. Okay, I mean, we got street furniture quite heavily through here on the first lap. Oh, slide from the Monte Carlo in front of us. Uh, so yeah, we're not as fast down these straights as I would have liked us to be. I basically think we're not fast enough down these straights to overcome the, I think the handling deficit um, that we have. The Monte Carlo's been, don't know what side that was going, uh, and in the end, I uh, just drove into the back of it, pretty much. Um, yeah, this thing's just not as fast down the straight as I was hoping it was going to be. The RSX is quicker than we are, which is, I mean, that's out dragging us. It's concerning um, for, the, for the Mustang, really. All right, let's try and get us actually stopped this time. Down here we are. Uh, so the Durango is being fought by the Viper. The RSX will probably join that battle fairly soon. Uh, can we look for a way through here? We're not really in contention at all in this race. Um, certainly not with the front cars. Uh, oh, let me get a bit of a wobble going around there. And we've got a sort of strange mix. The Monte Carlo is kind of fast in places. The RSX is struggling in the twisty bits. Uh, in all of this. I like the Hydros, Hydros Custom livery, I think it is, on the RSX, if I remember my burnout cars correctly. We're well clear of 8th place in this. Uh, now we're going to start reeling in that Monte Carlo, but where are we going to look for our way past? Is it going to be the run into... Uh, it's kind of... Turn 1 is a bit of a nothing corner. Most of these vehicles are flat out through it. Turn sort of 2. I don't know if we've got the brakes. Oh, Monte Carlo's got in trouble there. Big twitch. Can I get a good enough exit here? I don't know. Viper's cleared the Durango and the RSX is involved. And this is having that... It's normally me that has that horrible time where you uh, are stuck with all the quarter speed in the world, get held up in traffic, and then get murdered down the straight. Oh, there's Steve turned up with a very fast Mustang that's Mr. Checkpoint that will probably clear this group in no time. We're around the outside of the RSX, but we know that that might actually just come flying back past us again. Uh, we are oh, to the inside. Uh, don't think Steve was a... I was trying to get to the inside of the Monte Carlo. I don't think they was expecting 
a uh, fox body suddenly to the inside of all of that. We're up to fourth in all of this, though I expect the GT350 is going to come flying past at some point. Here comes that RSX. Uh, don't know where that's going to look. Hopefully, oh, they're side by side up ahead. There's madness between those two. We're out a little bit wide. Uh, oh, we get, <laughs> get passed by two cars for going a little bit wide there. However, we can outbreak the RSX. Uh, yeah, you're not going to find a checkpoint. That was a very, very tight. <laughs> that was a very tight line for the RSX. And uh, yeah, you are going to not end up being able to get the checkpoint. So I didn't know it was going for a dive. I thought we'd outbroken it. Didn't expect it to suddenly stick its nose up there. No, Gliska's found a wall. And that's killed all of my speed. Uh, killed all of Gliska's speed a bit more. Uh, that's uh, that's that annoying. I could, Gliska could actually go ghost mode. It didn't quite go ghost mode quick enough. Uh, for me to sneak my way past. I'm kind of hoping the Viper gets held up through this corner. It won't, unfortunately. All we have to do is just run to the light. We're going to somehow get fourth. Uh, it's not... Uh... Oy, that's a slide. I was going to say, it wasn't a fourth on genuine pace. We were definitely not complete garbage there. Um... <laughs> But that was a manic first race. I mean, it was a good race. It was enjoyable. It was a fun first race. It was uh, not the fastest for me. Couldn't match the Camaro or the Mustang. Uh, how And didn't really match the... Uh, kind of closer with the Durango and then some of the other ones around that sort of uh, low one minute, high 59 kind of a mark. But... Uh, <laughs> oh, an interesting start. An interesting start, to say the least. We are off to the Plaza Circuit for our next race. I'm going to probably have difficulties against the Durango. Uh, definitely. Um, yeah, I don't know if my car's going to be great around this track. The theory behind the, the tyre choice, by the way, the reason why I'm trying this, uh, the, the rally tyres don't give you quite as much grip as the semi-slicks, for example. But they still give you pretty damn good grip on tarmac. But it should be able to get, be, get more power. Basically, um, if I'd gone on semi six or, or slicks, I would not have had 500 horsepower. So the theory here is we go for a little bit more power in the car, so our straight line speed will be a little bit better, um, while still being half decent in the corners. It can definitely work. I mean, the GT 350R here is running rally tires, and that thing's monstrously fast. Um, I'm not going to be able to. Well, I don't mean I don't. Like, I always I'm not looking at that going. Like, I don't think I can really fight that. I'm not too fussed about it. Because uh, I think it is just too quick. Uh, oh, we are struggling. And that's just pinged out a ghost mode. A really unfortunate point. Although it is struggling. I mean, it is going to be heavy in this field. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, it is actually quite a big car. Now, the Durango is also a heavy car. But it's got slick tyres and it's all-wheel drive. So it's going to have unbelievable traction out of these corners. And while I'm not really struggling with wheel spin... Um, there's still going to be a little bit. You see the Viper slide. You saw <laughs> the leader slide. I slid a bit. The Viper slid. The Monte Carlo slid. And the Durango just doesn't. But, of course, the Durango's problem is going to be that we are going to just outmuscle it coming up this hill, for example. I have got the power to outrun the car up the hill, and I can be annoying. I can park my car on the apex all the way through here and make it difficult to pass. Although, that being said, sliding out wide like that will lose me a place very quickly if I am not careful. So, we're going to have to be... If we're going to go defensive, you just can't afford to make any mistakes ever. You can't afford to run wide. You can't afford to get slowed down. I think Gliska actually got slowed down more by the street furniture there than I did. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have to be mindful around here. Oh, careful through turn one. Uh, it is nicely done. This Mustang does slide around a bit more than I would perhaps ideally like. Uh, oh, front end bite at some point. It did eventually, but only just. Uh, we will part. I don't know how close the Durango was. I didn't have time to look back while trying to get it slowed and turned and everything. This is the section the Durango is going to be super strong at uh, all the way through here. It's just going to have the grip and the traction that I... I say that I don't. Traction's not too bad. Third gear actually works out of there. Um, we have... I mean, we've still we've got very big tyres on this. There are two seven fives at the front, but three four fives at the rear. So we do have pretty damn good traction. Uh, we will try and uh, get... Oh, come on, Mustang. Get off that corner nicely. You do? Ah! <laughs> that is a terrifying sight to look back and just see Durango is there. Uh, oh, all right, if we put a wheel on the grass, doesn't matter. For us, we've got the tyres that are going to be okay with that. Now we can just pull a gap. And this is the bit of the lap that we like, uh, because we have got the uh, straight line speed. We've got the acceleration uh, to make it work. 
and uh, we will just keep the car there in an awkward place. Um, and that's, that's what I'm going to have to do every lap, pretty much. And then we can kind of build a little bit of a margin down here. The Monte Carlo is just teasing. It's annoyingly close, but not close enough to really do anything. Durango's got company in the form of the Viper. The two Dodges can fight it out again. That's fine. Um, that, that works for me, actually. The more they fight, the better it is for, uh, <laughs> for the Mustang here. Uh, oh, the Monte Carlo's out wide. The thing is, I do not want to get stuck fighting the Monte Carlo. The worst thing for us is to fight, because the Durango will probably end up getting both of us here. Uh, Monte Carlo slides with the wheel on the curb. I almost slide. On the exit there as well. Can we? Where? I mean, where are we going to find a way past? Probably down into turn one. Oh, no. Not if I do that. Oh, beans. We're in lots of trouble now. That. Oh, that was, that was foolish. That was very foolish. The Durango. I mean, I just cannot take the quarter speed that the Durango can. So we're just going to park it on the apex, basically. Oh, we're going to strive. It's just so, so difficult to even get stopped here. But we do have the acceleration. We can just outrun it down this next section uh, we will slow for the hill and then hopefully use that 500 horsepower Durango probably has about the same amount of power but it is just considerably heavier than we are uh, so yeah we're going to park it on the inside oh, all the way through there We've got a little bit of understeer mid corner and then again out accelerate towards the final corner it will be out of range uh, I'm annoyed I hit that wall because we were looking like we could have been in the fight for second there I think my car might actually be a tiny bit faster than that Monte Carlo. But a little mistake on a circuit like this, and you will pay the price, essentially. Uh, okay, roll it through turn one. Turn one's not too bad in this car, actually. <laughs> Happy about that. Don't think the Monte Carlo likes the bumps down here, particularly. We're riding them a bit better uh, than that one. We will get early on the brakes. Monte Carlo struggling. Gliska has come from a long way back, but there was a space there. I thought we were further away. And now we've now we're behind that Durango. I don't think there is too much that I can really do. Yeah, you, you can just see how much quicker it can get on the power than we can, and the speed it'll take through here is uh, much better. Now, what might help me out is if Gliska catches the Monte Carlo, might end up slowing that one down, passing it. But we are on the final lap of the race here. Uh, the Viper is close. Got to watch out for that one um, through all of this. We have got to get the car turned coming up the hill. They're both out wide up ahead. The Viper's out wide behind. I'm probably the only one with tyres to deal with it. You can see we're going to absolutely reel in. I mean, things that could help me is if Gliska does get held up at all, uh, we will be fast towards the start-finish line. Monte Carlo gets held up at all. I think we're faster than that down the straights as well a little bit. Uh, you can see how much we're reeling in Gliska uh, through here. And that's the fun of the different builds, if you like. No one had an answer for the Shelby up at the front. Oh, Please get street furniture. <laughs> Here comes the Mustang with all the speed. Not quite so close. A little bit longer a straight and we could have done it. A little bit longer a straight and uh, <laughs> we would have snuck it on the podium. Uh, I mean, yeah, that, that Mustang was unbelievably fast. The Camaro struggled a lot more. I mean, it was slightly quicker than me in terms of lap time, but uh, I mean, it was all very, very close with this with this mid-pack group, really. Um, yeah, Durango. Durango could probably have been faster, to be fair. It was held up behind me for a lot of it. So, <laughs> oh, there we go. Hey, that was a fantastic, fantastic battle uh, at the street circuit. We are off to the festival circuit for our next race. I mean, our top speed shouldn't be too bad here. I think we... I've, the GT350R is probably going to be very fast. It'll probably go and win. The Camaro uh, that was fast in race one will probably be fast here. I imagine that might be a power car. Oh, more of a power car. Um, and then, yeah, we know the Durango's going to struggle. This will be the worst track for the Durango. Uh, the RSX, that might be quite quick here. You saw that had very good speed at the arch circuit. And it's also started the front, although front-wheel drive will be slow off the line. Um... Yeah, and we'll see what we can do. Might be able to, might be able to sneak a podium somewhere along the line. Uh, that will be, that's the dream. I, th I think a podium. This would probably be the best track for me to uh, sneak a podium. We got so close to it in that previous race, just couldn't quite make the old uh, Fox body wide enough, sadly. Uh, but we are steaming our way through the pack. We're up into seventh. Not a bad start for us. Uh, now, 
we are a pretty good kind of overall car. The Durango always oh, going to have a look to the inside there. Uh, I mean, of course, while this is more of a power circuit, that's not to say you cannot make some lap speed with some good handling. Um, basically, we'll have a look around the outside. The problem is, uh, they can do that, they can hold that, and then <laughs> by the next corner, we're gone. Uh, Camaro has battled its way to the front uh, of the pack. We will run through here. I can see the blue bonnet of a Durango. Durango's going to get very bored of looking at the back of my Mustang, I suspect. Uh, we're going to have a go to the inside at the final corner. A uh, bit, bit tricky passing spot, but we do it cleanly uh, past the SVT. And there comes the Durango as well to maybe have a look. Uh, can we get to the inside of the Monte Carlo at turn number one? No, the Durango... Well, I'm actually might be able to halfway through. Durango's made it work. Uh, and is then going to get repassed in the acceleration zone. Uh, oh, I'm really struggling for grip out there. But we are through. The Viper is trying to hold on to the lead at the moment. Uh, we are going to try and hug the inside, really, through here. There's a Monte Carlo. was on the outside of the Durango. Not mean to lead on the Durango. <laughs> too much. This is madness again. Having another ridiculous, ridiculous race. Uh, we will try and get through the hairpin nicely this time around. We do. Uh, we get the supercharged Mustang off the corner. We can just build a little bit of a gap to that Durango. That would be helpful, and we can start going after this top group. The problem is, as soon as we get to a corner, that Durango just reels us in, although we've got a little bit further. Now the Monte Carlo could hope for... I want Monte Carlo to battle the Durango. That's what we're after, really, here. Uh, we are going to try and get through this final corner with a minimum amount of oversteer. Viper is... Viper's actually quite quick around here, surprising me. I thought that was struggling for straight line speed in the uh, previous tracks, but uh, no, it is holding on for now. We'll see if it can hold on for the rest of the race against the likes of the Mustang and Camaro, the RSX. I mean, hopefully we'll come join this battle, uh, if at all possible. The RSX smoking those front tyres all the way up there. A little bit of lag, I suspect, going on to uh, make that one uh, look worse than it actually is. So we've got a little bit of clean air. So we'll try to get to the throttle there. The back end wanting to step out. Durango closing uh, across the bridge. Viper still desperately trying to uh, defend up there. Uh, oh, Camaro got in trouble on the exit there. Bumped the wall. Uh, we are off the hairpin quite nicely. Oh, don't think the Camaro realised there was a RSX alongside in all of that. And if they want to continue paint swapping, that opens a chance for me. The Viper has unfortunately lost the lead. in will put up, put up a, a valiant fight, I have to say. Uh, we are out maybe a little wide through there. Oh, the Viper hit the wall. The RSX hit the wall. We hit the wall. The Camaro got bottled up behind the RSX, uh, bumping the wall. Uh, that was just us being a little bit too keen on the older uh, power through there. Desperately trying to make the most of any speed I could get from this. Durango still stuck fighting that Monte Carlo. Uh, we are going to, annoyingly, I think we're not too bad around here, but again, we're just not quite going to be in the right place to uh, have enough time to be able to do much about getting on the podium, for example. Camaro slides. We kiss the wall on the exit there. I don't think it actually cost us any time there, but we definitely bumped it on the way past. Can we get underneath that Camaro here? No, we can't turn underneath it at the moment. We know the RSX struggles a little bit with the handling side of things, but uh, I'm certainly not close enough to uh, do anything through here. Uh, no, it's going to be whether I can pass the Camaro with one corner to go, which I don't think so, unless... Basically, the only way I'm going to do it is if I don't bump the wall and it hits it quite hard uh, through here. And it does not. It carries a good momentum. Ah. A lot of cars quite close in lap speed there. <laughs> you all come across the line. Yeah. Uh, again, the GT350R was a little bit too fast for us. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's all in the 106s pretty much uh, in the sort of mid, mid, mid-ish pack part there. Um, ah, just couldn't. Like, we did. We were in a bad spot on the grid. Just couldn't quite make our way through the pack quick enough to really get involved. Uh, but Mustang takes victory from the Bi Viper with the RSX getting on the podium. Another another fun race though. We head to the Estadio circuit for our next race. I might not be too bad around this track. It's kind of a, <laughs> this is a good, it's a good test track for cars. Good mixture, some longer straights, some fast corners, some slow sections. Um, if we end up in front, 
of the Durango, we will annoy the crap out of Gliska. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna expect the GT 350R is probably gonna work its way to the front at some point. Uh, we maybe maybe be in a fight for a podium at this track. We'll have to wait and see. Really, um, if we can stay ahead of the RSX. Uh, that would be helpful before we come out of ghost mode because we know it's very fast down these straights. We can make the most of the ghost mode at the start and sneak our way past some stuff. That would probably be good, uh, but it's only as high as seventh. That's not probably not good enough for us, really. Almost had a little bit of a twitch to myself into the barrier there. Um, right, what are we faster than? What aren't we faster than? As we come barreling down this straight, we're given a Corvette. However, the outside line here is dubious and dangerous and oh I got in trouble through there back into my car very much wanted to let go although the Corvette also let go through there uh, <laughs> the RSX got stuck so that is at least us staying in this position so Mustang leads from the Viper Camaro's under fire from the Durango for that last spot on the podium if we can keep everything together here Maybe we could do something about it. Gliska was battling the Camaro, has immediately, well, just lost all of the position uh, because no straight line speed in the uh, slick tired Durango. And Monte Carlo is going to look for a way past. This might not quite be the track for the Durango. It'll be very fast in a couple of places, but the straights are going to absolutely murder it in terms of lap speed. All uh, right. We are going to up the RSX. Big old understeer. I don't know where I'm going to get past Glisker. I think it's going to be down the start finish straight, basically, if we're going to do it. It'll just be outrun into that uh, first braking zone. If we can just stay close enough through here. Oh, there's the understeer from me. Where is that RSX? We're going to transcend it the long way around. Uh, it won't like this section particularly. Uh, it's having a look, and we will try our best to fend it off. Yeah, I've got to be closer to Gliska here, basically, um, if we're going to get past that car. Going to get past uh, Gliska or the Monte Carlo, uh, we're going to have to be closer coming out of that final corner. Because I know I outrun both of them, but I mean, then we get outrun, of course, by the RSX as we head down here. Uh, can we... I mean, the question is, can we outturn it through here, which we sort of can. Uh, we'll put ourselves to the inside uh, through this part. Uh, I don't want fourth. Oh, Monte Carlo's missed a checkpoint. Uh, battling side by side with the Durango. Yeah, so again, we're, we're catching Glisco. We're going to get caught. It's all a uh, fun, fun and games, this one. I think the Camaro might be safe in that third place. Now, can I be better through here this time around? I am much better. Much neater, much tidier. The RSX is gone, and I presume missed a checkpoint somewhere. Uh because that has lost a whole heap of time. So, yeah, okay, we're kind of safe from behind at the moment. Uh, can we chase down that Durango? Are we close enough? This is the closest we've been coming off the final corner, and this is where it really matters for me. Uh, yeah, we are a lot closer than we have been so far. Let's get, we'll move across to defend. That's fine, don't care. Uh, we will come sweeping past, and now it is time to make a very wide Mustang, but we're too deep under brakes there. Uh, <laughs> Just too late. I tried, to, I tried to be as late as I did, and we just asked a little bit too much of the Mustang. That's fine. That's fine. We've still got another couple of laps to make this work. But the question, again, the question is where? Here? I mean, we've got a lot of speed, but I'm just not going to have the grip to go around the outside there. Uh, so there's no point in uh, kind of wasting all of that. Oh, the Viper missed a checkpoint. Gliska's gone wide, pushed that really hard, trying to hold on to the position. And we will oh, take the position, but I know we're going to have a Durango somewhere looking up the inside, and indeed we do. Uh, we can kind of just make it awkward for Gliska was my plan there. Uh, make it awkward so Gliska just couldn't turn in. And now we will have the power, have the momentum for the Mustang to move up into fourth. Though sadly it is only a fourth, it's not still not on the bloody podium. Uh, this time, get the Mustang slowed for this first sequence of corners. Oh, did not actually get it very well through here. Uh, get on the power. And as we come over the hill, uh, Durango is right there. But this is where we're strong again. We can use our power all the way down here. 
And we got to hope we're far enough away into those final corners. That is a bit freaky, having that uh, flashing in and out of existence. Into the chicane we go. We can get changed direction quite nicely through there. Durango's out wide. I think Gliska pushed it. I mean, Gliska kind of had to. They knew they were always going to be in trouble uh, trying to beat us to the line, so they absolutely sent it through there, uh, but just didn't quite have enough grip to make that one stick. The Viper's got itself back to second in all of this. Um, so it was a good battle up ahead. It was a good battle for second. It was a good battle for fourth. In the end, it goes the way of the Mustang. Whether I could have matched those two ahead of me, I'm not sure. Uh, again, I think we were close to it. We just can't get a good crit spot at the moment. Oh, it's the way it goes sometimes. Uh, I say that. No, actually, that lap time's too quick for me. Um, and yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Take it back. They obviously had a bit of a scrappy final couple of laps going on. They were a million miles away from the Camaro, actually. Um, the Viper was a mu much quicker there. Oh, that was good fun. <laughs> that was, oh, that was a good fun race. Still can't get on the podium, but it was enjoyable nevertheless. For our final race, we head to the Garden Circuit. Oh, we have a nice, oh, we have a nice spot on the grid. But <laughs> Viper and the uh, Shelby are in front of us. Um, yeah, this is going to be... Oh, uh, Purs has picked the wrong car. Uh, some, yeah, sometimes it does happen. Um, what are we going to be able to do here? This is probably not the strongest track for my car. The Durango is going to be very fast, but the Durango might get annoyed, it is safe to say, around this track, because it's going to have a load, load of grip in there. It just won't have the acceleration to go with the grip. So if we make wide, wide Fox body, maybe we can do something... Um, about it. We will have to wait and see uh, if we can. I don't, I mean, not expecting to be able to do much about the Shelby. We've seen how blisteringly quick that car is. The Viper, I'm not really sure. It's been quick in places and then not seemed as fast in others. So, not quite sure well, where it is that the Viper is super quick. Um, we've already got the Durango behind us. We definitely are running the Viper down here. Um, got not, not anywhere to go through that corner. Um, so yeah, we've got the straight line speed on the Viper. Oh, we've got a Durango impatiently behind us. <laughs> right, Mustang, you're going to have to be the widest Mustang in the bloody world here. And I, I like this track. It's one of my favourite tracks in the game. This is not going to be an easy task at all to keep that Durango behind. It has got so much more grip through these corners than I do. Uh, so we're going to try and send it the long way around there. The one thing that I can do is I can just outrun it. Every acceleration zone, uh, we can outrun it. But we are going to have to park it on the apex. Any chance of chasing down the Viper is basically gone here. Um, because we're going to have to just be super, super defensive. Uh, the RSX might catch. I think that'll probably be too slow in the corners. To really get involved with this battle. Uh, so we're going to have to be careful. Oh, got too much understeer through there. Durango's going to have to go the long way around, though, because we will once again get the power down. Uh, we are oh, to the inside through here, but I just can't. I can't hold it. The only thing I can maybe do is punch it straighter off this corner, uh, and then there's a chance we could outrun the Durango somewhere, but I think now it's clear it'll be able to just carry more speed. We've got too much understeer. We just don't have enough grip in this car at the end of the day, um, which is, you know, to be expected with the way that it's built. It's against a slick, tired car. Uh, thought about firing it to the inside there, but uh, that would end in a crash, pretty much. <laughs> Uh, as you, the brakes are going to be so much better on that uh, on that Durango. We're going to close in coming down the hill. Uh, it's not got too far away. I just can't carry the momentum that I would need through here. Uh, it's this corner here that actually really kind of kills us. The Durango will probably be close to flat out through there. And I am anything but, shall we say. Uh, and then definitely a bit easier through there. I've just not got the, not got the turning to, to match that. Uh, as I said, I can make it difficult, but at the end of the day, all it takes is... I'd say me to just end up understeering a little bit wide on the Durango to find a way around the outside, basically. Uh, there's only a limited amount of time you can really defend against something that, you know, significantly better. Uh, 
So yeah, that is, that's, we put up a good, we put up as good a fight as I think as we could, and it, it looks like annoyingly we're going to have another fourth place car. And it's like we're we're perhaps not specialised enough in this. It is perhaps just not quite specialised in enough. Uh, we don't have enough grip to battle with the grip cars. We don't have enough power uh, to, go, to to battle with some of the other ones. But I mean, I think I think I have learnt uh, a bit with this car. It certainly uh, certainly could have been a lot worse. At least it has been competitive and it has been involved in the fights. That's the bit that matters. I mean, we're well we actually well clear of the RSX. It's not able to catch. And neither is the Camaro. Uh, we just can't match the two ahead of us, or the three ahead of us. Sorry, I should say. Uh, as we barrel around here for the last time yeah we are going to be just kind of uh, sat in the fourth place well <laughs> we defended from well I say we defended from Gliska we almost defended successfully from Gliska at the plaza circuit we definitely failed here we did get the pass done though at uh, the Estadia circuit uh, so I mean I've just been racing a Durango most of the time in this one occasionally some other cars turned up as well um a weird, weird rivalries and all that. Yeah, There's always going to be a little bit of a tougher circuit for us. Um, I'll take a fourth. Couldn't quite get it on the podium though, which is a little bit of a shame. A little bit of a shame for, uh, for what was it? An interesting car, you know. <laughs> Not going to match that Mustang at the front. The Durango couldn't quite match the Viper in the end. Uh, the RSX and Camaro and Viper were catching a little bit at the end, but just not enough uh, by the end of that. Well, there we go. Yeah. Uh, it was a fun session. Most definitely, it was a fun session. Uh, slight, slight shame couldn't do better uh, with that uh, with that car. Uh, it was never quite fast enough anywhere. Um, but it fought valiantly. We had some good battles. We had some good overtakes. We had some good defending. Um, and uh, yeah, all in all, an exciting, exciting session. Even if not the best finishing positions ever for me in this one. Um, yeah, it was it was a, a fun little experiment. That's for sure. Anyway. That is going to be it for this uh, for this video. If you'd like to sign up to take part in the next one of these, you can via our Discord. There'll be a link to it in the description. Find the versus the community section, uh, or sign up section, sorry, and you can register to take part in there. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, uh, goodbye.